K Pasa, my fishy amigos. We are about to get after it. Me and my neighbor, Hunter, he's a commercial fisherman. He said he spotted a few drum in a hole a couple days ago at low tide. So we're about to go out, try to hunt these drum down, try to throw maybe some uh, 3 16 ounce jig heads with some paddle tails, some Z-Man paddle tails at them. That's what I'm gonna start out throwing the beer run Z-Man paddle tail. It's like a white gold sparkly color. And I also have a Yozuri 3DS minnow. I have 15 pound fluoro tied double uni to 15 pound braid on both of those. Um, I, think, I think we need to go with some light fluoro because the water looks real clear from what I've seen. So we're gonna start off super light, see if we can get a bite. If we get broke off, we gonna level it up to 20. Hey, and you know what time it is. We gonna go up in this refrigerator. Okay, we gonna get us a daggone Red Dawn Energy. Okay, Simply Energy. I'm about to drink me one of these bad Larrys right here and I'm gonna get all the way turned up. Y'all don't forget, go to reddawnenergy.com and enter the promo code Lex Hunt Fish at checkout and get 40% off anything they have on their website. That's right, you heard it right. 40% off of everything they have on their website. Lex Hunt Fish is the promo code. You guys stay tuned. I'll see you out on the water. Just got tapped. Underneath here? There he is. Go. Hey, got him to eat something. Hooked up too. They decided to eat at the same time. Hey, old cold water drum. My boy Hunter put me on the cold water drum. Do you? It's a slot too. There we go, baby. Look at that. Wow, dude. There we go, daddy. Took all day, but God, that is cool right there, dude. Cold water. That's a slot too. Oh, right. Right here good too. Yeah, hell yeah, that's a great size to eat. Put the stand over there. Wow, that old slot red. Biting down on my thumb there. Pretty cool. Eight old shrimp, frozen shrimp. A little split shot rode all the way up that thing. I believe he's about, what, 18? Let me measure him real quick behind you. And he's 20. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. He's he's damn 21 and a half. Yeah, that's a good eater. Don't bleed that black drum out. Hooked up. He's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. Hunter is hooked up. Nice. Slaying black drum. It's a fishing some right there. That's what I'm talking about. Hunter's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good size one. It's a nice one. Yeah, boy. That's a good size black drum right there, baby. Hunter's killing it today, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Black drum. He picked it up and was rolling with it, wasn't he? Oh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Old Blacky Chan, baby. Hell yeah. 
about busting my ass on the boat right there. A little black drum right there, ladies and gentlemen. Bait the shrimp. Shrimp and a split shot. Courtesy my man Hunter. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hunter Eves killing it. Oh yeah, daddy. That's a good one. Slaying black drum though. Yeah, that's a good one right there. <laughs> that's a good one right there. Oh yeah, he fighting, he fighting. Ooh, nice black drum. Nice black drum. Damn, is that what we see cruising, dude? I don't think so. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's a good one, dude. You got to hold him up when you get the hook out. Let me see that one. Ain't got to measure that one, dude. Nah. Hell nah. Yeah, baby. Nice catch. That thing was feeling a little bit of drag. I know you got your drag lock down, too. Nice. Hell yeah. Hey, pasa amigos, we're back at the house. I got outfished on my own boat by Hunter. Yep, that's right. Hunter Eves outfished me on my own boat. I swear, I fish with some experienced anglers. They outfish me every time we go out. But what we're going to do in the kitchen today is we're going to poach some red drum, courtesy my buddy Elias V from Elias V Fishing. All right. All nice for the video. All right, boys. We're going to poach some fish today and make some fish dip is what we're going to do with some cream cheese, some jalapenos, a little bit of green onions. Actually, I don't think I have any green onions. We're going to figure something out. Maybe some green onions. What are you doing, guys? He's trying to shoot the camera for a video. We're gonna make some fish dip with this red oh drum. What we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna get this water boiling right here, and we're gonna drop the fish in there with a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna we're gonna boil the fish for about four minutes. We're gonna take the fish out. We're gonna make it into a dip. So you guys stay tuned for that. How that's gonna go? Captain Lex himself. Oh, you look good. Before you put this meat in the uh, boiling water, uh, you want to cut away all this red. You don't want that in there. That's the bloodline of the fish. Like all this red right here, cut that away. Throw that in the trash. If anybody has a good recipe for this meat, this, this bloodline meat, please call me or please comment below and let me know. Say hi. This fish into the boiling water. We put a little bit of a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt in there. We're gonna drop this fish in there for about four minutes. And the fish is ready to go into the dip. Palmetto cheese, pepper jack. We're gonna throw some of that. We're gonna throw some of that in there. We're gonna dice up some jalapenos. We're gonna squeeze some lemon in here as well. Out here making lemonade, boy. Hey, when life gives you lemons, squeeze them. Make fish dip. <laughs> then we're gonna add that in there. Put a little touch of stevia in there. 
to give it a little bit of sweet, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of paprika. I've never seen this before too, Ed. Garlic. This in the oven on 350. So I put this dish in the oven on 350 for about eight, nine minutes, and I took it out, put the Parmesan on it, put it on broil for about three, four minutes, maybe five minutes. And it looks beautiful. We're gonna let that cool off. It's a little brown around the edges there. We're gonna let that cool off and we're gonna taste test it. Just bring this. Who's going first? I want to taste one. I want my favorite. Okay. Tastes good. Well, zero out of ten. What do you get? <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero is the worst. All right, take here, lean over your plate. Right. Delicious. It's the first time ever that I'm trying this. Tastes like crab dip. That's phenomenal. Here you go. Let's see what the fish and milk has to say about it. Wow, you like a commercial. <laughs> oh, that's good. I think it's better than crab dip. I think it's, I think it's better than crab dip. Wow, you look like a commercial. Let's see you take another bite of your cracker, big dog. What do you think? Delicious. What you think, Fish and Milk? Well done. Zero out of ten, what do you give it? Fifteen. Wow, that's the best rating we've ever got. Wow, guys, you heard it first. The Fish and Milk says she gives it a fifteen from I a zero. It. I, I turn it a fifty-two. Oh, Maddox gives it a fifty-two. Now that's amazing. You guys, don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel. Shouts out to my man Elias B for giving me this recipe. It could use some green onions. If you have green onions available, put those green onions in there because it would really kick it off. Or even red onions would be good. But uh, you guys, don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel. Tell them, adios, amigos. Adios. Adios, my fishy amigos. Adios, my fishy amigos. Bye.